Hi, today I'm going to be reading Chicken Soup for Little Souls, The Goodness Gorillas. This is a wonderful story to read to find out how you can spread kindness around the world. Let's begin. It started the day Jessica Dockett brought cupcakes to school for the whole class. Jessica, said Miss King, I didn't know it was your birthday. It's not. My mom made cupcakes because she's a gorilla. Jessica handed Miss King a note. Miss King wrote these words on the chalkboard. Gorilla goodness. And this is what the note said. Dear Miss King, thank you for letting me practice gorilla goodness on your class, Miss Dockett. She told the class, we all know what a gorilla is, but the word gorilla means something else. It's a word that people use when they are part of a group that is trying to change something. Like a secret club? asked Patricia. Sort of like that. Gorilla goodness means practicing random acts of kindness. That's what Miss Stockett and lots of other people all over the world are doing right now. They're trying to make the world a nicer place just by finding new ways to be extra kind and good to people, even to strangers. You mean Miss Dockett makes cupcakes for strangers too? asked Stuart. She might. Or she might let someone in front of her in line at the grocery store. She might shovel snow from her neighbor's driveways without saying anything. She might plant flowers in a public place for everyone to enjoy or help poor people. There are lots of ways to spread goodness once you start looking for them. At lunchtime, everyone was talking about gorilla goodness. Real gorillas in the jungle do nice things for each other, too, Satina. I saw it on TV. Let's make our own club, said Michael. Jessica should be the leader since she knows the most about it. And that's how the goodness gorilla started. Peter came to school early and sharpened all his classmates' pencils. Everyone smiled and said, thanks, Peter. Everyone except Todd. He tried to poke Peter in the arm with his pencil's new sharp point. Jessica pulled out a map for every person in her gymnastics class. What a lovely act of kindness, said her coach. Stuart let his little sister watch her favorite TV show, even though it was his turn to choose the channel. Later that night, his sister gave him the last piece of her Halloween candy. All of the goodness gorillas met on Sunday and cleaned up the litter in the park. They were having a great time until Todd showed up with his scary dog, Brutus. Todd laughed hard when Brutus nipped at Jessica's heels and growled at all the children. Todd walked over to the pile of cans the goodness gorillas had gathered for recycling. He picked them up one by one and threw them all over the park. Hey, dumb gorillas, go fetch, he yelled. Why does Todd always have to be so mean, asked Tina. The goodness gorillas picked up the cans again, but it wasn't as much fun as it had been before. Patricia cleaned her room and her brother's room without being asked. Her dad thanked her and made her favorite dinner. 
Tina packed up all her old toys, and her mom helped her bring them to the homeless shelter. I'm so proud of you," said her mom. Michael went with his uncle to volunteer at a senior citizens' home. A lady there told him, "You made our day." The Goodness Gorillas met at recess every day to talk about new ideas for spreading kindness. And every day, Todd danced around the group, grunting and scratching his armpits. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Look at me! I'm a gorilla! I'm a big dumb gorilla who makes goody good with everyone. What a creep! Said Stewart. All he ever does is cause trouble. Go away, Todd! Said Jessica. If you can't be nice, we don't want you around. One day, Miss King came and said, "I have some sad news, class. Yesterday afternoon, Todd's, Todd's dog Brutus was hit by a car. He died in the night. Todd is at home feeling bad and very alone. I'm hoping some of you will visit him. Does that sound like a job for the goodness gorillas?" Jessica raised her hand. It's, it's just that Todd makes fun of us so much. I wouldn't know what to say if we visited him. Maybe he's felt left out," said Miss King. "Did any of you ever ask Todd if he'd like to join your club?" "He's not a goodness gorilla," cried Tina. "He's a meanness monster." "Goodness gorillas see the good in everyone," said Miss King. Isn't that what you told me, Jessica? At recess, the goodness gorillas tried to decide what to do. Even though he'd been rotten, they all felt really bad for Todd. Brutus was his only friend. I know," said Jessica. "My mom could take us to the pound to find a new dog for Todd." Sep said Peter. Spreading kindness means spreading it to animals too. I'd feel sorry for any dog we gave to Todd. Well, well, we'll just have to find some good in Todd first. Then said Jessica, "I have a plan. Tonight, every one of us will write down one good thing about Todd. I know it's hard, but try, and remember." There's good in everybody. The next day, all the goodness gorillas stood on Todd's doorstep and rang the doorbell. Todd answered the door himself. He looked like he'd been crying. "What do you want?" he asked. "We've come to make you a goodness gorilla," said Jessica. Todd narrowed his eyes. Why? He growled, looking nastier than ever. Let us in, and we'll tell you all the reasons. Todd turned around and stomped back into the house, but he left the door open. The goodness gorillas piled in. Each one carrying a piece of paper. Todd's the fastest runner in our class," said Patricia. "Todd has nice blue eyes," said Tina. "Todd was friendly back in first grade," said Stuart. "Todd is funny when he tells jokes that don't make fun of people," said Peter. "Michael and I came up with the same reason," said Jessica, "and it's the best one of all." Todd does a great gorilla imitation. We want to learn it," said Michael and Tina and Peter. "We all want to be gorillas. How do you make the grunt sound so real? Show us how you do the hop," said Patricia.
Everyone tried to do do Todd's gorilla dance while Todd stood and watched them. Finally, he had to smile and then laugh. They weren't making fun of him. They really wanted to learn. When he couldn't resist any longer, Todd turned himself into a gorilla, too. Everyone followed his lead. They all grunted and hopped and scratched and screeched until they fell, out of breath and laughing, into a big heap on the floor. Jessica said, Now that you're one of us, Todd, we have a surprise for you. She took Todd's arm and led him to his backyard, where the goodness gorillas had tied a furry, funny, black and white puppy. Todd ran over to the puppy and knelt down beside her, hugging her and stroking her fur. Big tears filled his eyes when he looked up at his new friends. I'm sorry I made fun of you, he said. I didn't think you would ever be this nice to me. Can I really join your club? The puppy jumped up and down. Look, she wants to be a gorilla too, said Tina. That's what I'll name her, said Todd. Her name can be Gigi, for goodness gorillas. And she can belong to the whole club like a mascot. Everyone loved the idea. The Goodness Gorilla signed up more and more members. Miss King's class became a nicer place. Then the school became a nicer place. And then the town did. And as the Goodness Gorillas grew up and went to different colleges and traveled to different cities, the whole world became a nicer place.